All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Tuesday, the 17th of July. Man, this month is just speeding by, and that's the way the summer goes in here in South Florida. If you don't like the weather, just wait 30 minutes, and it'll change. A lot of rain going on, but we've got some great tastings, and, uh, you know, whenever it gets a little cloudy outside, it's wine shopping. The only thing you can do when it's raining out there. One of the best things to do anyways. All right, well, we've got another great event to promote here at the Four Seasons Hotel down on Brickell, the Edge Steak and Bar Restaurant. And uh, this is uh, a new venue for us. This is only the second event that we've done here, but the first event they did such a great job. I'm really excited about, uh, well, every other Tuesday night we'll be down here. Aaron Brooks, the executive chef, will be putting out a few small courses. We're doing eight wines, similar format to what we do at Cafe Max. It's a seated event, and uh, get there around 7 o'clock. We're starting things a little later. It is Miami, folks, and uh, we learned that the first time. It's hard for me to get down there by 6.30 to conduct the event. We've got some great Spanish wines from two companies. Anthony from the Florida Wine Company used to work for Eric Solomon, so this guy knows Spain like very few people in South Florida, uh, an expert on Spanish wine, I would say. And then Antonio from Terra España, another one of South Florida's expert on Spanish wines. This is a small company that just does Spanish wine in Spain, one of the largest wine-producing countries in the world. They're number three behind France and Italy, and uh, this country actually has the largest area dedicated to vine of any country in the world. However, because of the old vines and because of the high altitude, most of Spain is a plain um, and you get much lower yields in this country than anywhere else. And hey, those old vines, that low yield, that natural low yield, what does that produce? Some of the greatest wines in the world. Some of the best values coming out of Europe today or coming out of Spain. You can find a slew of wines that score 90, 90 points or more in the Wine Advocate and the Wine Spectator for $15 or less. Wow, unbelievable. You know, it wasn't that the, the same just a few short years ago. I remember my first visit to Spain in 1994. Man, I saw more dirty barrels than any country had ever been to before. So just like the rest of the world, you know, in the 90s, there was this huge quality revolution in Spain. And today, because of importers like Eric Solomon and like Jorge Ordonez and like uh, these guys at Terra España, you're starting to see some of the best stuff from Spain coming out today. And small producers uh, and, uh, you know, organically farmed uh, vineyards, like I said, for a fraction of the cost of what you'll find in other parts of the wine world. We've got some great whites. We've got a couple wines uh, from uh, made out of the Godeo varietal. We've got Cava. Cava is what they call sparkling wine in Spain. It's the same method they use to make champagne, some of the best values in sparkling wine. A little different grapes, Periata, Macabello, and uh, Charlo. There's 400 different varietals they use uh, in Spain, so some really unique stuff. About, uh, well, 80% of the wine, though, is made with 20 of the top varietals. It's the old 80-20 rule. All right, and then we've got a couple of whites, uh, Grenache Blanc. We've got uh, Gadeo from Galicia. And then uh, we've got, uh, of course, some reds, Tempranillo-based wines, the great red grape of Spain. How can you do a Spanish tasting without showing Rioja? And, uh, well, we've got a Spanish tasting tomorrow night here at the Wine Watch, which we still have room for, which uh, we won't have much Tempranillo. It's just pre -arat. but No pre arat here. We've got Tempranillo. We've got a lot of great wines showing... Check it out on our lineup today. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.